Hey, what's up? Today I have a review for you of the Viper R by Ultra. Um, it's it's their newest bag um, that, that Ultra's come out with. It's a carpeted bag um, with the Viper name on it. Uh, I'm not gonna get into my whole take on Ultra's um, model designations with the R's and the B's and the C's and the X's. If you wanna know how I feel about that, check out the beginning of the Viper B video, I went into that into detail. I'm gonna skip that here for you. Um, I will say on this bag, I was somewhat intrigued because I do like to throw carpet and I, I thought, well, Vipers, they got a carpet bag, the Viper name on it. I'm kind of curious. I want to check it out. So that's why I got it. Um, also, I've done a review on the Viper C's, the Viper B's. I'll have a regular Viper review coming out in, in the future. So I thought I might as well get the R's. Let's do the whole Viper family for you. Um, that being said, I also didn't want to like this bag, right? It's a Viper carpet bag just in principle I, I i didn't want to like that so i was my whole expectation was to get this bag in give you a review tell you how much i hate it don't go buy it and then i was gonna trade it away right um it's not exactly what happened so and i'll get into that more let's let's jump into the bag itself real quick um it does have the viper logo on it uh i, I love that logo it's a very iconic um simple classy um, because this is a carpet bag, if you see that Viper logo on a carpet bag, you immediately know it's a Viper R. It's the only carpet bag that um, has that Viper logo on it, which is the R. In fact, the, they also have a Widow R, which is a carpet bag. Um, so if you see the R designation on any of the Ultra bags right now, it's going to be a carpeted type bag, right? So they got the Widow R, the Viper R. Um, on the on the fast side, this is the Viper fast side material, which I'm glad they went with that on here. On the Bs, they actually went with the Vapor fast side, not the Vipers. Um, but the R, they actually took and did the uh, Viper fast side on there, which I'm super happy with. So we know that's a that's a nine speed, right? On the carpet side, um, it's a very unique carpet. I, I don't recall seeing this type of material in a bag as of, as of yet. I don't, I'm not saying it's not, it isn't on a bag. I'm just not familiar with it. Um, it's a super loose carpet. Um, in fact, when I got these bags brand new, they were already pretty well broken, in, which is unheard of for carpet. Carpet bags typically come in pretty stiff, pretty rigid, and they take a lot of time to break them in. These came in super loose, already like felt broken, ready to go, which, which was awesome. Um, now, Ultra on their website, they don't really give a lot of information about these bags. And I don't know if that's intentional or if it's by mistake, but when you go to the uh, order page for these R's, the Vipers and the Widow R's, the description of the bag is actually the wrong description. So on the Viper R's, it's a description for the Viper B's, the Widow R's, it's the Widow B's description there. So again, I don't know if that was intentional and they're trying to keep it a little hush hush on, on these bags and the data they have, or if that was a mistake, I don't know. Um, which is fine, but like I said, we got the Viper Fast, so we know it's a nine. On this carpet side, brand new, I started throwing it, it played pretty quick. I, was, I would even say like a six speed on it. But what I'm noticing as as I played with it, this carpet is starting to kind of fuzz up, and as it's fuzzing up, it's slowing down. Um, it's been playing for about a five for me, maybe even a four and a half-ish speed. So I don't know, as this fuzzes up, it may drop to a four, get more like a four, nine speed, um, or if it'll stay at that five, nine range, I don't know. Um, I'm also curious because you can buy those carpet fuzz remover things that will cut the carpet fuzz off and kind of clean the carpet up. I'm curious if you use that on this bag, if it'll go back to that six speed. So you can kind of keep the fuzz clean if you want a faster carpet bag or let the fuzz kind of get there and, and just work its way if you want a slower bag. So that's something I may, I may play with a little bit as these fuzz up and see how that works. I'll give you an update on that. Um, but all in all, I would say a five, nine, four and a half, nine speed range that so we're looking at somewhere in that range. Um, it's the typical ultra fill on there. It's a, that larger template bag, kind of that medium fill, which you expect from ultra. Really tight closing seams, everything. I mean, it's it's an ultra bag. It looks like an ultra bag, feels like an ultra bag. The only difference is this carpet material, very unique. Um, I, I do question, because it's a super thin carpet, I, I question the durability of this, and I have nothing to base it on other than just what I think might be an issue. And I don't know if you get a pole or snag, if, if that carpet becomes super fragile. Um, I've been throwing them for several hours now and I haven't had an issue, so I, I don't wanna say there is a problem. I don't wanna create a problem that isn't there. I just question that. And if, as I throw these, if I do end up with, a, with an issue, I will definitely post an update for you. But as of right now, that hasn't been a problem. So but just keep that in mind. Um, as far as playability on these bags, so like I said, they came in, they come in pretty, pretty loose, pretty floppy, pretty broken already. And as you throw them, they really start loosening up even more. It's a super floppy carpet bag, um, which, you know, if, if you're used traditional carpets, 
Um, it's you may not like this because it, it, it's 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 not as stiff as you would get now because it's floppier what I found is it lands a lot softer on the board so if you don't throw a flat bag it's not going to kick like a traditional carpet bag in fact I found this Viper R had a lot less kick to it than the Viper B this slow side of the Viper B really tend to want to grab the board a lot more than this carpet did um, so this, this, this R lands a lot softer and flattens out, runs a lot truer, which is awesome. Like I said, if you don't throw a flat bag, very forgiving in the area. The problem is, is it also is not a great bag for cutting, for rolling, for flopping. Um, because, because it's so floppy and it's so soft landing, I, I had a hard time really manipulating it to, 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 to do what I wanted to, which is fine because I'm not really a great, I'm not a big roll bag thrower at best. I'm average at that. I'm not saying you can't roll these bags. You press you probably can, but most people aren't going to be rolling this bag. In fact, I, I could roll the B's much easier than I could these R's. Now, as this carpet side fusses up and becomes a little tackier, maybe that will become a little better. I don't know, but I think it's just because it's so floppy. That it's, it's just, it's so floppy, so forgiving, so soft landing. I don't think that that's really the type of play you're going to get out of this bag, um, which is fine with me because I'm more of a blocker, airmail, push through type player, not much, not much of a flopper roll. I do play some cuts in there. Um, which I, I do miss not being able to do that as much of this bag as I'd like to. Not a big issue, as long as you know it's, 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 it's not a cut type bag, you can work with it. Um, this Viper fast side, plenty fast enough to push through any of the blocks you lay out there. Um, so I had no problem collecting and cleaning up when I was laying a block. Um, in fact, it, when I'm throwing by myself, I don't throw as many blocks because, you know, it's obviously I'm just trying to put bags in the hole. And I had no problem just sliding these in on the carpet side for the most part. Um, super, again, super hole friendly. They would catch, kind of spin around, either hang there and I could collect them later or they would drop right in. In fact, I had one, I don't know if I can time this footage up properly or not, but there was one where it actually went in, I, I was throwing, it actually, the last bag went, kind of caught, spun around and just sat there. And I, I was like, man, it, it, it looked like it should have gone in and it did, it just sat there. And I stared at it for, probably 10 12 seconds and it just didn't go and i used my phone as a remote so i reached down to cut my phone hit my phone to cut the camera off and then i did it and i looked up and the bag had fallen in at some point in there so i mean it was there for i said 10 12 seconds and then it just fell right in which is kind of unheard of because carpet bags are, are known to be a little tacky a little stickier and so they tend to want to hang on the hole and not fall in i didn't really have as much of a problem with this like in fact the the viper bees tended to want to um, hang on the holes and collect and bunch up more than I did with these R's, which kind of um, shocked me. So, you know, I, I had every intention of not liking this bag, but the more I threw it, the more I really do like it. Um, and honestly, I, I think I like it better than bees. Another advantage that this has over the Viper bees is it does well in humid conditions. As, as the boards get wet and tacky and sticky from humidity, this carpet actually speeds up and becomes a faster um, the faster side of the two whereas this viper b in humidity this slow side starts just starts sticking and stopping um, really slows way down makes them almost unplayable so if you're in an area with with um, humid conditions or you know you're in a warmer climate and as the temperature drops as the sun goes down and, and there's a little bit more moisture in the air and the boards start tacking up this is a bag that you can actually play with even during those conditions. Whereas the B, you're probably going to want to switch to your, your you're not probably, you're going to want to switch to a different bag because this Viper B becomes really difficult to play in human condition. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it's a little more versatile in that way. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I absolutely love throwing this bag um, and I didn't want to. Um, I, I, this, this carpet does intrigue me. Um, I, I'm still curious about how it handles as I play with it more. Um, as it fuzzes up, does it really slow down a lot more or is it going to kind of stay in that four and a half, five speed range? So we'll, uh, I'll kind of keep you updated on that. Um, but all in all, it's a great bag. If you, if you like carpet, I think you'll love this bag. Um, and if you don't like carpet, but you're kind of intrigued by it, or maybe you like the Viper Bees, but again, you're in a humid condition. I think this R is a great alternative to that. Um, especially if you're an ultra fan, um, it's another another bag that kind of complements their lineup. It's something a little different than what they've had. So I think it really fits in really well. So yeah, all in all, I, I have to recommend this R. I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep it in my backpack, um, keep trying it out for a while. Um, and I may even end up getting rid of the bees just because I think I, I think this bag will actually replace everything that the bees do for me um, and then some. So yeah, all in all, great bag. Um, highly recommend it. Go check out the, uh, the Viper R by Ultra. Thanks for watching.